Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today's a new day. I had to stop my progress on the drip irrigation. I didn't have the right uh, drip tubes, well, the right connections for the drip tubes. Anyway, so I'm back at it this morning. It's already almost 10 o'clock, so it's pretty warm. All right. This is what I needed the other day, and I did not have it, and now I do. And so I'm going to go and get these little emitters inserted, these little couplers that go into the drip tube. Uh, I tried to do it with the little tool, but it bent my little coupler. So I also bought some extra couplers. But this is the coupler that it bent. I'm still going to use it, though, because I think it's, you know, it looks to be okay. It doesn't look like it's been compromised too bad. Anyway, let's go out there and get this input into it, especially because the sun's behind the cloud. Man, if that sun would just stay behind the cloud, that'd be awesome. I'm going to put it, actually, I'm going to put it right into here or here. That way I can run a line up that way. It's not on, but there was water in the line. And now I'm going to put the coupler and put it into it. Ooh. Not as easy as it seems. Hold on one second. Had to go look at the picture, make sure I was doing it right. So I'm going to... Ah, there we go. Did you hear it pop? It was probably out of view. So I do apologize for that. All right, I have my quarter inch tubing solid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to this end of this coupler that I just put in there. All right, that appears to be on it. The little vincas are drying out pretty good. Put my tool in my pocket. You got to be careful, though. It's got a pretty sharp little tip. Don't want it to poke me. All right, and then I'm going to just measure this up to the height that I need it. All right, and I want it to go in. Oops, well, let me do that over again because I just I lifted up the let me step on this so it doesn't move. Okay, and I'm probably going to go up, put it in this way. So I'll probably go another six inches. So I'm going to cut it right there. That way it can go into the middle of the pot. I'm just measuring it from the bottom up and into the pot. About six inches. And then this little tool you use to cut it. And you put it in the little skinny side. That thing is pretty big. That was easy. Okay, I have my tube cut. And so now I'm going to go get the emitter that we're going to put on the end of this. And a little, um, I have a little... Well, I have them right next to me, I think. I have these little stakes that you can put in and hold the tube up off of the soil. And it's just a stake. And then it has a bug plug, but I'm not going to plug it because there's not going to be any openings. So let me go get that emitter. All right, these are the half gallon emitters. This is, I didn't have these yesterday when I came out here to do this. So half gallon is the water rate that it comes. And then that's the shape of it. And it's for small plants and containers. Um, anyway, 10 come in a pack and it was like six, less than $6. And this is what it looks like. And so this is gonna go, the black part's gonna go inside the tip of the tube. And this is where the water's gonna drip out of. And we're gonna put it on the stake so that it's being held up above the soil. Kind of just have to wiggle it and apply pressure and wiggle, wiggle. I think that's good. All right, let's put it inside of the pot. Okay. Let me explain this little, uh, this little uh, stake for you. So this is the bug plug, and I'm, I'm not going to use it. But if it was the winter time and you were 
um, you know, or letting your line lay dormant for a while, you would plug up the dripper with this so that bugs couldn't get in. Um, now this little square rectangular piece here comes off or um, loosens from this spot and it's attached here but you put it on top of the you put it on top of the stake to keep it closed so it it anyway it goes on top so I just want to explain what this was because I'm about to take them both off I think it wants me to go down another level. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, yay. There we go. Okay. All right. We're actually going to go in the back. Through the back. thread it through. It's kind of hard to do one-handed and I... It's stuck on the... Okay, there we go. Alright, can you see that? And so it's going to drip, 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 drip. And hopefully when it drips it... You know what I'm thinking, actually? You know what? Hold on a second. I'm going to put it right here. All right. A little on the high side. And it's the back of it because it slopes. And I'm thinking I want it to hit closer to those two root balls because it's going to slope a little that way. And then I'll just get something to tack this down. Hmm. Alright, I might have made a boo-boo. And I don't know. That's going to leak from there. We can water can get out. <gasps> oh no! Okay, y'all. So this was the, the, this was the, all right, so I have to cut this because where it bent, it broke. I have to cut that. Oh, I might be able to get a, I might be able to get tweezers and pull that out. All right, I'm going to have to turn off the camera for this. So if you ever bend a coupler, do not, do not use it. <laughs> it's compromised. So, let me go get pliers and get that out and, and then get that tip of that cut out and then I'll um, put a new one in. All right, I have to cut this because there's no way I can get this. There's no way I can get that broken piece out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. You ever wondered what it looked like in the side there and you know what I did it wrong anyway you're supposed to put these on the side not on the top they're supposed to go on the side so now where's my little bag with these all right and I'm puncturing it on this side. Come on. There we go. Snapped. Okay. Whew. It takes a little bit of arm strength, y'all, like or hand strength. That's for sure. 
All right, get me a new coupler. All right, and this, now this one looks much bigger than the other one. Much bigger. Let's see. Yeah, this is much longer. And I'm going to make sure, okay, so the water's coming from that way, so. Oh, it has holes on both sides. Never mind. All right, there's the hole. I really wish I was on the opposite side because there's no space over there with all the other plants. Very hard to do. I'm making progress, though. Got it. Oh, finally heard the little snap. Okay. All right. Woo wee. Now I gotta reconnect. Oh, yeah. This needs to come out. I think I can get this out of this tube. Oh, look how cheap that is. That one broke too. Can you believe that? I just pulled that plastic right off. I'm not that strong, y'all. Okay, well, worst case scenario, you cut it. Wait, I didn't get all of it. <laughs> I was like, why'd that hole get so tiny? All right, that's right. And I'm glad that I did a lot of extra length on it. Gosh, dog it. Tell you what, these things like to bend a lot. Hold on, I'm going to pull it towards me for a second. All right, well, I think I have it as best as I'm going to get it as far as it being snug on there. I'm going to go turn on... Oh, wait. Oh, I can. I can. I'm going to go turn on the faucet, and let's just test and make sure that there's no leak here. I had to go uh, into my little parts and find something that I could cap because that drip tube is connected to, and I'll show you, it's connected to this faucet and I put a dual working, for, look past all my mess, I was digging out liriope and of course, because the liriope had grown so thickly around everything, I cut through one of my drip tubes, but, um, Anyway, so I have to fix that as well. And I have the parts to do it. But this is the automated uh, system that I put on this hose. And it's a dual one because this is the one that I have set up that I just did that runs all the way out to that container. And then I'm going to connect another one that's going to run out that direction and go to those planter boxes. So when I turned on the water, even though I don't have this side set up, because I, I believe I set it up correct where this is a zone, but when I turn it on, it flows through here. So I need to cap it. So this is what I've done. It's actually this without the bottom piece, and I had an extra cap. I don't know how I knew to buy it, but I bought it. So I had it. So I'm very thankful for it. So now I'm going to get this connected so that I can then... Um, you know, uh, turn this on and test it. Have my water on, watering a couple things that I had planted the other day. It's probably not wise to plant things or transplant things when the average temperature is 100 degrees every day. I've got this capped. I've got it on the on because this is on. And so I'm going to turn this off. for now because I don't want water going that direction and I'm just going to have it go through this system and I'm pretty sure it, I might have to hit the button again 
but it should be dripping. This is why I'm watering because there's a lot of plantings that look like they're really suffering. Gosh, it gets so dry so fast. These temperatures. I don't see any water there. Is that dri but that is dripping. Okay, so water is coming out of that. All right, but water is not coming out of this. Well, I lie. It is dripping. But what part is it dripping from? Oh, it's about to burst the... Oh, it's about to pop out. So the water pressure... Why is that water pressure causing it to pop out? I need to go research that. Glad I lifted it up. At first it looked like it was okay. Hmm. All right. Let me go do some research. All right, I've got a question, y'all. Why, one, why would the pressure be so strong there? It wants to push that coupler out. But then while I was looking at that, I heard a pop behind me. And the tubing popped off of this. There's the end of the tube, and it popped right off. Why would it do that? Because according to the bag, this has a pressure regulator on it. And what I'm thinking is, do I need to take it off? Is, like, why is it, why did it do that? I'm perplexed. Because it would say, that would tell me there's more pressure coming through. And that's why that popped off. Also could be that it's really hot water. I don't, I don't know. You know, because as it, I don't know, because this is a west facing wall and it's super sunny. And even the water that comes out of the normal hose is hot at first. But I ran, I've been running the water. I don't think that's what it is. I don't think it's the temperature. I'm very perplexed. If you know, please tell me because I am, I need this drip tube to work. <laughs> All right, let's try again and turn it on. I reconnected the tube, tight as possible, pulled the little thing down over it, twisted it on. So this is all the way pulled down, all the way twisted over the tube. And this time I'm, I'm barely gonna turn it on. I'm not gonna turn it on that hard. And let's see if that, that helps at all. I don't understand why the little coupler is leaking though with the connection into the regular drip tube. That I don't understand. I mean, if it just barely drips, it's no big deal because this area probably needs it, but. Yeah, see, it's still dripping. I just wonder why. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flush the. I'm gonna flush the line. Okay, I flushed the line, like let it flow out, just to see if possibly there was hot water in the line that I didn't know about. It'd be a weed. It didn't look like the others, but it's still it's still leaking. It's like definitely the pressure wants to push this out, and I don't even have it on like full blast, like the. I don't know what that's all about. And it can't go in anymore. I feel the barb. Like it can't go in any deeper. So it's probably going to end up leaking there. And the dripping is a good amount. And maybe if I just run it a short amount of time, I won't, you know, like half an hour. Hmm. I'm going to go inside and do some research before I do the next one. Boy, this is taking me several days and it's not because I'm a slow poke at it. It's like I keep running into issues. <laughs> kind of kind of frustrating, but once I get it right the first time and figure out what's causing what, I will definitely have it have it down. I'm going to go set my timer though so I can remember to come out here in the next 30 minutes and check on it. Well, a little update. Uh, my research did show that if people said that they have a lot of trouble with these couplers um, in the half inch poly tube and so um, they all say I mean most everyone says that they leak 
they do recommend that you use the hole punch tool, the correct hole punch tool, so you don't over punch a hole. Also, um, they mentioned that, uh, you know, sometimes the heat over time will help the plastic to fit better around the coupler. And this is the only one I have as well. And so maybe um, I have too much pressure, but I doubt it because I have a pressure regulator on that, that little contraption that we installed. It has a pressure regulator down to um, 25 pounds per square inch or 20 pounds per square inch. Anyway, I'm checking to see if that drip is on or not. I hit the manual button. That's what the instructions say if you want to turn it on when it's not scheduled. It says it takes a few minutes, but it's not doing it and y'all I need to get something that blocks the sunlight because that little timer gets hot so I put this towel over it all right so manual okay oh there we go all right there's like definitely a delay and there is a leak here, which I have, again, I have, you know, all the parts after the timer, like you're supposed to, but it's leaking. There's definitely pressure, backflow pressure, I would say, because this normally does not leak. So maybe squishing it down to the 25 pounds per square inch is causing this to leak so again any suggestions please let me know because i i don't mind a leak but this is pretty good size dripping and eventually i mean all this water is going to go here and well and it's dripping on the timer itself so anyway any suggestions you have would be greatly appreciated now i'm going to just measure this tubing for the correct height. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it around there. All right, so you slide the tube into, this is the small tube, so you slide it into the small slot. It's that easy. All right, so I have this tube cut, and this is the stake that goes in the pot and then the tubing gets held by it and it goes down to like the second one. And then this little thing right here, which I'm gonna go get the little scissors to cut it because I tried to twist it off the last one and it was quite difficult. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna leave the little bug um, cap. You know, you can see through it. It's not, it's not solid, it has some holes but it's supposed to keep bugs and other debris from going in and clogging up. But I would think that this goes on the end of the tube, not on the emitter. So um, I guess maybe you could fit this inside of that and then do your emitter. I don't know. I'm really not sure what it's supposed to do, so I'm gonna do more research about this, but I'm gonna leave it on. And so I'm just going to then put this emitter Oops, into this while I'm sitting in the shade. Ooh, I mean, how crazy the when you're trying to push it together, then the tubing can bend. It's just, ugh. All right, I've got it. I'm gonna move that further down. All right, so that should be good. It's right up on it. All right, and then I just need to attach this to the uh, coupler that's in the poly tube. And even if it leaks a little at that connection, that's okay. I just won't run any extra water to those plants. So I'm doing this in the shade because it's like almost 100 degrees outside right now. It's like almost five o'clock in the evening and it's super hot. So. I'm trying to do the most that I can to stay out of the heat. All right, this is coming from over here. And it may be 
you know, it is, again, five o'clock. It may be too hot of water. Well, there's no water in this line, so it should not be hot water because I never did. I've never ran this. All right, so I'm going to turn it on. Okay, I'm going to put on auto, and I'm going to hit this manual button. Maybe I didn't push it. I'm gonna go up to 30 minutes. Well, see any now see this one comes all the way up all the way up here oh there is water there so it must be that okay so this one's never leaked so this is the first time ever this is leaked here um, this is probably from the pressure regulator I, I would guess I have stronger pressure than probably, you know, I probably have maybe over 30 pounds per square inch. So it could be that. And if this is a constant thing, and it really is, you know, I will probably just end up putting a little bucket to catch the, the water because I don't want it sitting on the foundation all the time. And I do plan to run this every single day. Let's go see if there's a leak at the connection. All right, let's see if we can see in there. Is it dripping? Yes, it is dripping. You might not be able to see it very well because of the light, but it's definitely dripping. And if that's a half gallon drip, that's a pretty good drip right there. All right, let's see the, where the barb goes in. How bad is that leaking? Now this one is not leaking. Well, not much. So that's good. And that is getting that area wet, but it's not, it's not substantial. We'll come in at the end of, well, let's go see how long. Is it, yeah, it's still dripping. Let's go see how long it's set. I think I'm going to turn the other side on though and, and water, manually water some of these things. Definitely need to go out there and water those. All right. Does this have a timer? Oh, it's got 17 minutes left. Okay. All right. 17 minutes. 4.49. So, oh, about right at 5 o'clock. Okay. I'm going to water some stuff while we wait. Okay. It's still running. Oh, it has one minute left. Okay. So, the half gallon emitters for... I forget how long we were running it for, but it needs to go up. going to go another 30 minutes because it the it may need to go to a um, may need to go to like a full gallon if not a two gallon emitter per hour all right everyone that is it for me today I got the drip the one or the two drip tubes to the containers they're dripping 
I do need to change them to a larger drip uh, uh, emitter. They're on half gallon an hour emitters. That's not enough for those pots, not with our heat. So I'm gonna up, put them up to at least a two gallon or one gallon emitter. See how that does. If that's still not working, then I'll go up to two. And I have all those, so I can do that tomorrow. Um, but I'm about spent. It's hot. I'm sweating a lot. Um, so I will see you again tomorrow.